In this video, we're going to take a look at freezing, thawing, and turning on and off layers. In order to do this, let's open up an example file. Let's take a look at the architectural example imperial drawing. This file has a few different layers in them and we'll be able to take a look at them and see what they do. Now you can make drawing layers invisible either by turning them off or by freezing them. Both of these commands will do similar things, but they do it in a little different way and they have a little bit of different features. Sometimes that will affect you, other times it won't. Turning off or freezing layers is very useful if you need an unobstructed view when working in a detail on a particular layer or set of layers, or if you don't want to plot specific details such as reference lines. Now whether you choose to freeze layers or turn them off depends on how you work, on the size of your drawings and what it is exactly that you want to do. Turning off a layer, you can do that by clicking right here. Click the off button and then select an object to turn off. If that layer is current, you'll get this warning and say, hey, this is the current layer. If you turn this off, everything you draw is going to be unseen. So that line work is turned off. I can't see it anymore. And since that's the current layer, and you can see right here, it has the bluish grayish light bulb, that means it's off. Whenever I draw a new object, I can't see it, but it's still there. If I click this button here, that will turn all layers back on. And you can see my new object is right over there. When you turn on or off an object, the objects are turned off, meaning that the layers are invisible, but they still hide objects when you use the hide option when you're printing or working in 3D. When you turn layers off, then the drawing is not self-regenerated. When you freeze a layer or thaw it, objects on the frozen layers are invisible, but they don't hide other objects behind them in doing like 3D work. Now in large drawings, freezing unneeded layers speeds up operations involving your display features and regeneration. So AutoCAD can handle it better when you freeze layers as opposed to turning them off. Thawing one or more layers may cause the drawing to automatically regenerate itself, so you can keep that in mind. This used to be a big deal a long time ago on older machines when it was just very hard for the computer to keep up with what you were trying to do in AutoCAD. Today's machines, it's not so much of an issue. Freezing and thawing layers, though, does take more time on the computer side of things than turning layers on and off. Though, to be honest, I have no idea about that difference. I can't tell it. That just comes out of AutoCAD's help, and it tells us that. In a layout or in paper space, if I go to a paper space tab, click in my viewport, and I have my objects shown here. I'm going to lock my viewport so that I can zoom in and out, and I can see my different objects. Now, when I'm in a layout, I can freeze layers in an individual layout or an individual viewport. This box here, this black box is called a viewport. It gives me a look into the model space where my model is and it can allow me to display my drawing in a specific way. I can freeze objects in a specific layer. So if I use the freeze command, it's right here on the layers panel. If I select that, let's say I don't want to show my windows in this viewport. I can freeze that layer. My windows are gone. If I go back to model space, you'll see they're still here. They just aren't being displayed. Now, if I turn off a layer, like my doors, they won't be displayed in this viewport, but in fact, they're going to be turned off everywhere. That's the biggest difference that you will actually use in all practicality between off and freeze. When you turn a layer off, it's off everywhere in that file. When you freeze it, it can be frozen only in one viewport at a time. Now, you can freeze it in multiple viewports but it has to be done one at a time. That way you can turn off those objects in that view, but keep them on in another view. When you lock a layer, you make sure that everything on that layer cannot be edited. I can't delete it, I can't move it, I can't copy it, can't do anything to it, it is safe. So when you get a part of your design done or finished, lock those layers, that way it won't accidentally be changed and it tells everyone else, hey, I'm done with this, don't touch it, Leave it alone. 